Hello, good evening, guys. Evening. Hi, Christian. Apparently, right now, you're like the only one with Manuel. But Manuel, I think he's going to be as a listener. Because he had the word listening before. His name. So I am just opening this. Okay. In a second, guys. I'm just trying to reopen the, the attendance list. I don't know what happened to this. I think I'm having issues with this. Okay, I guess some of you are working, guys. Give me one second. I need to see. Mm -mm -mm. What Manuel says, I am working right now. Okay, cool, Manuel. Thank you for telling me. Okay, thank you for letting me know. So, how are okay, you? Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, perfect. So, how are you guys? How was your day? No, I mean, I feel alone in here with nobody with the cameras on. I feel like kind of alone. <laughs> All right, so with you're getting connected. Let's see. Ah, okay, so let's start, guys. I hope, guys, you have had a good day, right? So now it's like, you know, time to relax and just try to uh, discuss a little bit uh, you know what the contents we have on the class and uh, tonight we are going to continue talking about how to choose or basically a plan to sketch a 3pl you know provider so we are going to be discussing a couple of uh, questions that you should take in consideration when choosing a provider, you know, a short patty logistic provider. So that's going to be interesting because then we're going to do a couple of activities related to that. So just to start, I'm gonna uh, pass the attendance list. Give me one second, I'm loading this thing. Okay, just to start, um, Carmen Eugenia, Carmen here. Okay, so she's, she's there. Christian Alejandro. Present. Okay, great. Uh, Daniel Arquimedes. Mm -hmm. Daniel is not here yet. Daisy Maricela. Is Daisy here? Okay, so she's not here. Uh, Elwin Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, great. Elwin Vladimir. Is that here? Okay, so Elwin Vladimir is not here yet. Elwin Alexander. I'm here. Okay, great. Estela Mabel. Present. Good evening. Okay, good evening. Fatima Adriana. Mm, okay, so Fatima is not here yet. Fatima Lourdes. Present, teacher. Okay, great. Jaime Antonio. Apparently, so I saw Jaime here. Let me see. No, but he's not here yet. Uh, Eduardo Jose. Present teacher. Okay, great. 
Carla Lisset. Okay, so Carla is not here yet. Kenya Sicilia. Present. Okay, nice. Lorena Beatriz. Lorena, you there? Can you guys okay. listen? Ah, okay, okay. Good. Manuel Antonio. I am Manuel is there. Uh, uh, uh. Maria Gabriela. Okay, so Maria is not here. Mary Raquel. Okay, not here yet. Noemi Betsabe. Present. Okay, nice. Osvin Alexis. Present. Okay, nice. Let me see. I'm looking that it if it will that it is here. And Daniel. Present and here. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I mean, I saw you. That's why I, I included you in the attendance list. All right, guys. So let's just start with, you know, like discussion class that we're going to have tonight. As I said, guys, we're going to continue discussing about how to choose the right 3PL provider as we were discussing last class. So what were the, what were, what was those, what were the main aspects that we were discussing last class? in order to choose the right 3PL provider. Do you guys remember something from last class? Something to share, what we were doing, right? The aspects that we were taking into account. I'm all ear, guys. What were we, we talk about uh, uh -huh, no, no. we talk about how to choose a TPL produce provider, sorry. Uh -huh. um, different uh, step maybe or, or ideas that you can take note about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Noemi. All right, perfect. Who else wants to share something from last class, guys? This is a feedback, you know, just to uh, talk a little bit about what we were doing yesterday. Because if you didn't speak, I'm gonna make you speak, guys. Let me see. I'm gonna choose someone then. <laughs> Christian, what do you remember from yesterday's class? Besides what uh, Noemi said, um well we were we was discussed discussing about three questions. Okay. Uh, like like uh what is 3PLS and what we have to take in, in account to to select a 3PL mm -hmm. and if the price is the most important thing in 3PL, something. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. There you go. And uh, we are going to have one last participation. <laughs> Let me see. Who can help me out with this? Mm -hmm. Osbin? Yeah, Osbin was in class. I, re I, I remember him. Yes, uh, I remember. Um, Yesterday we we talked about the CPR mm -hmm. and, and we we saw that that price is the most important criteria to decide on the right CPR. Ah, okay, 
Okay, very good. So it was part of the process that we were just discussing yesterday. I mean, that's cool. And it's true what you're saying. Okay, uh, tonight I bring you guys a couple of questions to ask, all right, to your future TPL provider when selecting, you know, one, and according to what the, the provider says, you can take, you know, like a decision, right? A decision making. So I am going to show you that just to start. Okay, so we're gonna continue with this. And it's it says this is a sketch plan. It says to select a 3PL provider. Okay, so in here is like how you plan to select the right 3PL provider, okay? And use it in your, you know, as a partner in your company, okay? So let's see what it says in here. It says, questions to ask to a future 3PL provider, okay? These questions you should take into account when having a business and you need, you know, a provider. So what's the first one? Lorena, help me out reading. What kind of products does the third party logistic provider specialize in? Okay, specializes in. Okay, it says, <laughs> what kind of products does the third party logistics providers specializes in? Okay, why do you think it's important to ask this question to a provider before hiring them? Why do you think it's important to know this? Let's suppose you have your uh, production company, okay, and you need a provider probably on transportation, probably to storage your product, probably uh, for packaging uh, your products and everything. So why do you think it's really important to ask this question? Before giving obviously the, 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 what I bring here, why do you think it's really important guys? It says, to ask on what kind of products that the third parallelist specializes in. Any idea? Mm. Because remember, not all the third party logistics providers specializes, a, you know, in one single uh, option. There are companies that specialize think, in things. Aha, Noemi. I think the the mass of TPL companies provide what services? Uh -huh. Services, custom service, uh, storage, um, security. I think this kind of of services. Ah, okay, good. So in, in prior to selecting a, a third party logistics provider, you should ask this question because in that way you can identify if they handle, you know, huge loads with uh, like, like trailers packaged with the products or if they specializes on uh, other aspects like low quantity products, all right, services, and such, you know, like um, things like that. So in that case, so that's why it's really important somehow to ask this, right? So check this out, what it says in here. Daniel, help me a reading. Okay. What kind of product does the third party logistic provider specialize in? No all full, no, no all fulfillment, fulfillment 
warehouse are the same. Don't choose a 3PL warehouse that tells you you can handle every kind of shipment. A good fulfillment center will know its strengths. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So listen what it says in here, guys. Not all fulfillment warehouses are the same, all right? They work in a very different way. But it says, don't trust a TPL warehouse that tells you that it can handle every kind of shipment. Why do you think it's 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 saying like this? A good fulfillment center, it says, will know its strengths. Why you shouldn't trust on a warehouse that tells you that? Why not? I want a couple of opinions for you guys. Why do you think we can't trust on warehouses like this? Hi. Hi. I Fatima. think it's because there are different kinds of products uh -huh. and no any third party logistic company can well can have the technologies, for example, to storage, to transport, and the product that can be um, arruinado. <laughs> uh, damaged. Se puede dañar, uh, que, sin, if they don't have the right conditions. Ah, okay, very good, exactly. Remember, guys, that uh, as it says in here, not all the warehouses are the same. There are a couple of uh, warehouses that specializes uh, on different options, you know, and not for one single option. Besides that, let's remember, let's suppose I am selling one kind of product referring to food. Let's suppose vegetables in a need a warehouse. And let's suppose um, what Christian has a company uh, which specializes on creating uh, what products made on made on crystal. So his products and my products are different. So probably in the boxes for his product it will be fragile on the box. All right. So in that case, that kind of shipment and transportation and warehouse process requires a different logistics process in comparison to my product. So in that case, that's why it's really important to know, all right, uh, what is like basically the specialization of the warehouse in, all right? So in that case, why is very important? Because you don't want to lose money by losing your product, right? Or having a damaged product. So in that case, that's why it's really necessary, right? To know what is like the kind of specialization that this kind of, uh, you know, uh, warehouse might provide. Good, that one related to the specialization. Now, take a look at this question over here. Uh, Edwin Vladimir, help me already. Okay, what will the TPL provider do? to meet my performance metrics. Okay, very good. Let's remember, as in every company, as in every production company, there are metrics to accomplish. What is a metric? Basically what you are expecting to reach in a week or in a month, right? With your products. So in that case, that's why it's really important that the correct TPL that you choose can meet, you know, like the performance, how you work in your company, right? So in that case, you can work hand by hand with that company. Take a look what I have here uh, related to that. Um, let me see. Estela, help me a reading, please. Okay. <clears throat> 
you set performance goals for your business. If your fulfillment warehouse doesn't do the same, your commerce business can fall short. Ah, okay. Listen, you set performance goals for your business, as I was saying, right? If you have a production company, you have to set up your goal on how much you want to sell in one specific month. So in that case, it says, if your fulfillment warehouse doesn't do the same, the same as you, obviously, follow up the same, the same idea, your commerce business can fall short. Okay, why do you think it can fall short? Why, guys? Oh, how do you understand this? It doesn't have a lot of time to exist. I, I, I think, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. What else? What else, guys? What else do you think uh, about this? Uh, I think in this one, uh, for example, the any any company or industry has a, a how do you say met a, a goal per mm -hmm. per month, so they had to follow a specific metric to uh, perform that. Uh, uh, goals and to reach, uh, for example, the how do you say, ganancia. earnings, uh, and and reach those earnings that they have planned during that month. No, okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, just imagine if the company a goal is to send uh, what, uh, three trailers with products every week but the company cannot have the capacity, the warehouse cannot have the capacity to have a follow up the logistics to send those three trailers with products to a, a destination every week. So in that case, that requires that the production company may lose money on that, right? Because the shipments, are not getting fulfilled. So in that case, that's why it's really important that the warehouse, all right, uh, the TPL provider work hand by hand with the provider, with the producer in this case, right? With the production company. So they can know each other. So in that case, they can grow together, right? And one can meet the necessities from the other one. So this one related to, you know, like the metrics or goals that the company might have uh, for future, you know, like loads and everything. Now, check this out. This is related to the same thing. All right, Daisy, help me a reading. Your outsources logistic is an arm of your operation, your 3PL partner should have the same standards of excellence as you do. Look for a 3PL provider that uses management and staff incentive to meet and excel goals for accuracy, accuracy, and accuracy and speed. Exactly. Thank you. So in this case, listen, your outsourced logistics is an arm of your operation. It says it's part of, uh, it's an important part of the operations, right? It says your 3PL partners should have the same standards of excellence as you do. As I was saying, let's imagine your production company uh, has its own standards of excellence and uh, they uh, spread products all over the country in a very, you know, quick way. So in that case, the 3PL partner 
must do the same, all right? Must do the same with the logistics operation, all right? So that's why it says in here, look for a 3PL provider that uses management and staff incentives to meet and exceed goals for accuracy and speed. Let's remember, if uh, a warehouse, if uh, the staff that is working with you as a 3PL provider works as fast as you do in your production company, both are going to have positive benefits. On the other hand, if you work fast, if you have an excellence on speed and everything, but the partner that you have, the company as a partner that you have, don't do the same, what is going to happen? Your production is going to be decreasing. It's going to be failing. Why? Because the provider that you have does not fulfill your needs, right? Or your customer's needs in this case. And that requires that you probably are going to lose money. Right, so that's why it's really important that the company that you are hiring have the same, has the same standards as you do, okay? So that one, let's remember, related to, okay, how to work together. Now, take a look at this other question that we got here. It says, is there a minimum monthly order volume to work with the fulfillment center. In here, it's referring on how much, listen, on how much work it's done, you know, with loads, with loads on transportation, of course. Check this out. Um, Eduardo, help me a reading. Okay. Uh, make sure your operation match the requirements of the 3PL provider you choose. Focus on a slower time times. Mm -hmm. If your business goes through seasonal sales cycles, otherwise your partner may hit you with additional charge when sales slow down. Okay, good. Let's remember, as in every as in every product or production company, sometimes seasons affect the volume of the product that you can sell, right? So in that case, probably there are going to be seasons in which your product is going to have a huge demand. And it's going to be a season in which your product won't have the same demand. What happened in this case? You have to seek for a company that in this case don't charge you additional charges when sales are, you know, like low and you uh, don't have that much demand from your customers. Let's remember the company has to work exactly the same as you, all right? If you fluctuate with your product, the company has to do the same to, with you, all right? They have to do uh, the work accordingly to your company. Not only when you have a good season uh, and a lot of demand from your product, they are going to stay with you. And then when you have a low uh, probably a low demand of your product, they charge you more money because they are not enough, you know, they don't have enough money to to to, to supply, right? Uh, the, the stuff, you know, with the, the logistics and everything. So in this case, how do you guys understand this part? Any additional opinion with this? I understood that the the 3PL provider, mm -hmm. uh, if you 
if you contract uh, uh, some number of uh, drugs, I think, uh, no matters that if you don't uh, sell uh, the big quantity, the 3PL provider uh, can hit you with additional charge for, for the same price. The, the provider, I think, uh, no, no change the charge if you are bad with the sales. I don't know is is that. It's basically like that, exactly. Another common example, it will be like, for example, let's suppose you have, you have set a, a store, a retailer store, and you sell something and you need people, you know, to help you in the store. So that people, depending on how big is your store, that's the amount of people that you're going to choose. Let's suppose the store is small, so you need two people to help you up on the store, all right? But if your sales are decreasing because of a season, probably you are going to, you know, set apart or quit one person and just stay with one. Why? Because these two people are going to get exactly the same money, the same payment, and probably you cannot continue paying the same way. So in that case, you have to choose the decision of, all right, fire one person and stay with one. Why? Because of the load of demand that you can have with your products. So the same thing happens in these huge companies, right? So if sales are decreasing, in this case, basically the warehouse that you have your products and everything, they have to slow down the production and obviously the additional charges to you. So in that case, you cannot lose money, right? In paying, uh, you know, additional charges. So that's what it talks about these things. So let's take in consideration that as well, guys. Now, the next question. Kenya, help me out reading, please. Kenya, are you there? Okay, I guess Kenya is not there. Let me see. Fatima, help me out reading, please. Ah, okay, Kenya is in a call, it says. Fatima, are you there? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Can good. the 3PL provider meet the demand for increased capacity as my business grows? Okay, good. Help me read in this one as well, please. One of the most significant benefits of outsourcing your fulfillment is the flexibility to use more or less shelf space. Your company may grow or contract over time. Make sure your 3PL provider can stick with you through these changes. Ah, okay, very good, guys. How do you understand this? I will give you a couple of minutes read the information and then i will go one by one to tell me your opinion okay so read carefully one of the most significant benefits of outsourcing your fulfillment is the flexibility it says listen that's a key the flexibility to use more or less shelf space okay your company may grow or contract over time. It says, make sure your 3PL provider can stick with you through these changes. How guys do you understand this? Uh, 
I'm going to select a couple of people. So in this case, it's going to be. Uh, teacher. Yes, Edwin. Uh, what is shelf space? Shelves is like eh, estantes, espacios donde se colocan las, las productos. Y estos son como okay. los grandes estantes, right? In the warehouses. Okay. Okay, good. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. T -t 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 -t. Elwin Alexander, are you there? You're not there, mister? Okay. Uh, I would like the help of uh, Noemi and then Daniel. How do you guys understand this? Mm. Okay. Huh? Hey, um... I try to understand, but in the last point, this I understand that the, the, the triple can be, it's like a, you can know how do your business grow. In this case, I understand that if you know uh, what is the, the increment, for example, of your products? Maybe um, you can know if your 3PL provide mm -hmm. uh, have the have the capacity uh -huh. for incre incremental increase. Increase, increase exactly. uh, the, uh, your maybe your capacity. No capacity. Capacity, yeah, capacity maybe for for um for fulfillment your necessities i i understand something like that that's exactly what it is no i mean exactly if your business is growing obviously the amount of product that you will uh, create is going to be more obviously right so you have to identify if the 3pl provider that you're working with are, is going to have the same capacity as you, right? On, you know, getting the product, uh, storage the product in the warehouse and everything, even with the staff of the warehouse, uh, work extra hours in order, you know, like to fulfill the necessities of the company, all right? So everything of that, it's included in there, right? But what happens sometimes? Sometimes it happens that the company grows, but the 3PL provider, what they do is like, oh man, that's too much work. So we are going to, you know, separate from you because we cannot have the capacity for providing you, a, 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 you know, like a warehouse or more capacity in our facilities. So in that case, what they do is just like separate it with you. So in that case, that's why this one is, is part, uh, you know, an important part of the process, right? I have an, an history about it uh, in my company. Huh? Uh, we had a big, a big client. They mm -hmm. move around 30 containers every week. But uh, but they but they didn't have the space in your warehouse, and um, I I have I have to have all my containers in the warehouse for maybe one week, and is no no productivo no productive productive no productive for us because the the trucks are st static static in the yeah, in yeah. the warehouse and it is it, is is a problem really when the when the client or where the GPL don't have the 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 same capacity 
Exactly. So in that case, it's a problem, right? And what is making you lose? It's making you lose some money in, in a somehow, right? So that's why it, this one is really important to take in consideration when hiring, you know, a 3PL. As she's saying, just imagine if you have uh, a, a soup, uh, you know, like a warehouse that apparently is going to be working for you, but they don't have the capacity. If you grow, they don't have the capacity to storage all your product. So you need to have your product in your company. So it's, it's going to require more space for you, more work for you. And obviously, it's not going to be productive for you, all right? Because you're going to lose, you know, somehow money, right? So that's what it talks about in this case, right? This part. Now, let's move, guys. Take a look at this. It says, what percentage of my orders can reach customers in two days or less? In here, we're talking about how fast your provider can be, right? So take a look at this. In here, this is mostly related to e-commerce. You know what is an e-commerce, right? Commerce on, uh, online. This is mostly related to that. Daniel, help me reading, please. Okay. What per percentage in my order can reach customer in two, days or less. Today, mm -hmm. shipping in the industry is standard. In an e-commerce, big online retailer like Amazon, constantly okay. search for a new way to get products to customer faster. Okay, listen. Big online retailers like Amazon constantly search for a new ways to get products to customers faster. So in this case, how do you understand this, guys? Just imagine big online retailers like Amazon constantly searches us for new ways to get products to customers faster. So it means Amazon constantly seek or, or look for uh, providers, right? So in this case, a 3PL company might be possible to deliver the products in a faster way. So how do you understand this part? Or why do you think they do that? Osbin, why do you think Amazon look for providers who does the job faster? How's it been? You have the microphone off, how's been? <laughs> how's been, are you there? I don't know, teacher, teacher. Maybe, maybe Amazon use other use other companies for deliver uh, the products. Ah, for but for FedEx, uh, there, there are a lot of companies. Ah, okay, okay. But why do you think has been in your opinion, of course, uh, that they constantly look for providers? Uh, which they can do the job faster, the deliveries faster than the other ones. Why do you think they they look for uh, providers like that? Okay, uh, Amazon uh, use a use a a CPO, and they have a a warehouse in other countries for 
for the get a uh, product. Okay, yeah, I mean, they, that's what they generally do, right? They have uh, other, you know, like warehouses and uh, services pro uh, services providers um, in, in other countries, right? So in this case, let's remember, let's suppose I am working with Amazon, right? And I'm the in charge of delivering all the products and everything, or in charge of, uh, yeah, delivering. So, but I do the delivery in four days. And then Elwin Vladimir comes to Amazon and tells and tells them, hey, look, my company, my 3PL company can deliver those products in two days. Do you think, uh, which one do you think it will have more benefits? Or which one do you think Amazon will hire? In this case, Elwin's company, right? Because the deliveries are going to be faster. So what does it mean if they are faster? They are going to increase the sales, right? The production is going to increase more. Why? Because what I do in four days, Elwin does it in two days. Probably in four days, Elwin have duplicate the quantity of deliveries that I probably do. So in that case, it's more money for Amazon. Right, so that's why they are constantly looking for providers that can deliver their products in a very faster way, right? So in a very quickly way. So in that case, because it's more productive for them, right? And in that way, customers can have more, you know, orders to 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 do in a very faster way, right? So in that case, that's why it talks about, right? On how fast your providers can deliver the products that you might have. So take a look at this one. It says, how does the fulfillment center process returns? Let's remember guys, in this case, not all the products that you can produce it's going to be directly sold, right? To customers or probably you sell your product, but probably you will have problems with a customer. Probably because the product is damaged, probably because the product is not the right product that the customer required. So in that case, what is it going to happen? Your product is going to be returned to you, okay? so how the warehouse or how the 3PL provider that you have can manage the situation. So take a look at this. Ooh. Hi, Mary, welcome. Can you help me out reading this? <laughs> Hi, yes, of course, teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry, but today I have a lot of traffic <laughs> returns um, to my house. Yeah, no I'm just problem. coming. You okay, how, thank you teacher. How does the fulfillment center process returns? If you have a business, sometimes you will have returns. The customer experience of your returns policy can hurt your business or it can build loyal customers. Uh, okay, good. How do you guys understand this part? I have been explaining the other ones. Help me out explaining this. How do you understand this? No, sorry. Go, go ahead, Mary. Go ahead, Mary. Okay, okay. Let, let's do it this way. Mary, then Elvin, and then Noemi. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh, I think is talking about devolutions, teacher. Yes, Maybe. basically, every returning is a devolution. Yeah. Just, <laughs> is <it's> my opinion. <laughs> okay, good. Edwin. Okay, I was uh, trying to, to say uh, maybe the, the same words, but I was, uh, I will say that uh, an example, when you bought, when you buy something on, on online, for example, in Amazon, and this product gets you broken, 
uh, you make a, a claim and you return back that product to the, for example, page in this case, Amazon, because you got something that is damaged. Yeah, okay. I mean, basically, that's the process that we can take in consideration here. Noemi? I think it uh, can be about the, the, the claims because mm -hmm. when the client have uh, a lot of claims, the, the business are, are down, I are going down. Mm -hmm. um, I think the company have to, must to have a, a plan of their clients. I think Anderson. Now, okay. all right, good. Thank you, Noemi. Somebody else? Who wants to share? In my, uh -huh. in my company, uh -huh. um, to this process, if called reverse logistics, uh -huh. to the return of the product and uh, uh, the company. Ah, reverse logistics. Okay, it makes sense. It makes sense. Okay, good. So in this case, guys, yeah, it, it, it talks about this. It talks about when a product is returned again by the customer. So in this case, you have to have, you know, a provider that knows what to do in cases like this, all right? Especially, guys, when you have a damaged product. Let's remember, let, let's suppose, that the product that is being returned to you is damaged. The company that you're working for has to know what to do with that damaged product, right? Because that damaged product cannot be, you know, in the in the warehouse, right? So in that case, they need to know where that damaged product has to go. All right, once it is returned, right, by the customer. So in this case, you might lose money on this case, but, right, you have to create, you know, uh, loyalty with your customers. Because if you have loyal customers, those customers are, be, are going to be constant buying products with you, all right? Good, now, the other one. How does the 3PL assess any damage? Check this one out. All right, now Kenny is back. Kenny, I hope you're reading this one. Okay, some returns may have issues. Mm -hmm. You need to keep the much good out of the stock to prevent them from harming your reputations mm -hmm. find out how warehouse staff access whether a return is suitable suitable yes, to resell okay good listen up thank you kenya pay, pay attention to this guys it says some returns may have issues right probably the the, the product is damaged it says you need to keep damaged goods out of stock to prevent them from harming your reputation. All right. Let's suppose Danielle is selling what? Let's suppose Danielle is selling cell phones. All right. And I buy a cell phone to Danielle. But the cell phone is damaged. The cell phone doesn't work. All right. So, and I complain with Danielle and I say, hey, Danielle, the cell phone I bought to you doesn't work, man. So what can we do? So Daniel have to have a plan of returning, right? What is this plan of returning? So in this case, then I can return the cell phone to him and probably he can, he can listen, two options, or send me a new cell phone or send me the money back, right? A refund. So in that case, why Daniel 
have to do that. Because in that case, if Daniel tells me, hey, I sold it to you in good conditions. If, if, it is, uh, if, if the cell phone doesn't work on you, that's not my problem. So Daniel is going to have a bad reputation with his products. And what is going to happen? So probably Daniel is going to decrease with the sales because, all right, I, as a customer, can tell everybody, hey, Daniel is selling products, but in bad conditions. So don't buy cell phones with him. So in that case, Daniel's sales are going to decrease. So in this case, that's what happened with these huge companies, right? So or they can give you a refund or they can re replace you uh, the damaged product, right? And if this damaged product can be restored, it can be you know fixed, the warehouse or the 3PL that you're working with, they have to know how to do that, all right? And if the product is really suitable to be resold, all right, revendido, right? So they have to know if the product can be resold in that case, all right? So in that case, both are going to win because obviously sure. the product it might be fixed. Yes. I think uh, this is important to resolve these kind of issues because the customer, uh, if uh, don't uh, don't feel uh, comfortable with the uh -huh. the product, mm -hmm. uh, the person is not comfortable may uh, uh, talk with many people about the bad uh, service, exactly. even if he uh, don't know a person. For example, if you have a bad uh, service in some restaurant, uh, even you uh, see a person walks in the street you you can go in front of this person and and talk about the bad service of this restaurant or this place exactly. uh, even the contrary if you have a good service or something is perfect you don't talk to anybody like this only talk with your close friends about that Exactly. This is the different in the in the customer service. This is the this is this is important. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. That's exactly what happens also with these huge companies, right? So let let's 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 uh, put this: how to differentiate these uh, big uh, retailer companies like Amazon? And there's another company that is very uh, common. I have heard eBay. about e eBay. <laughs> Uh -huh, exactly. I, I don't know, guys, if you have listened at, uh, about any other companies called Wish. That's like, like Chinese company. Yes, I heard about Alibaba. Alibaba. Exactly. So in this case, how they differentiate it, it, it one from the other one. So in this case, in this case, because of the quality of their products and because of the delivery of the products. There are company of those ones, there are a couple of, of those companies that you, if you order a product today, in four months, probably probably you will have the, the product in four months, just imagine. I, I want to add something to your yeah. comment. Uh -huh. And if you got lucky, you will uh, get what you buy. <laughs> exactly. If not, you might have something completely different. Exactly. So in that case, it's like uh, complicated, right? So in that case, that's why people prefer like the most common ones, right? So uh, and the one that is on top of those things are it's mostly Amazon talking about e-commerce, of course, right? Okay, guys. Let's continue. Right after this, we're gonna go over an activity. Yeah, we're gonna have that activity now. 
All right, guys. I want to know who's uh, really active and who is as a listener. So that way I, I, I want to sign you with the ones. Jaime, can you participate? Because you got the word uh, a listener there. Jaime? All right. I guess he's working. So Carla cannot participate because she's working as well. Mm. Gabby, uh, are you working? And Elia probably just working. Okay, so I just got very few people today. Okay. All right, guys, what are we going to do? Listen, let's suppose, guys, I have, listen, I have a company, okay? I have a company in which my main production items are what? Mm, let's suppose this. I have a beverage company, okay? I have a beverage company. All right. I am going to send you to working groups and I want you to set up a, re listen, I am going to send you to working groups and I want you to create your own 3PL service company, okay? Your own 3PL service company and you are going to come in here to offer me your services. What do you offer? What are uh, what is your specialization on? Okay, and what is the service on transportation that you offer? Okay, and the system of warehousing that you offer. You're gonna explain that to me when we come back from the discussion. Okay, set up the name of the three PL company. Set up your uh, goals on uh, what, is, what is your strength, you know, what is your specialization in the company, okay? And why you are offering me your service of my company. Remember, I am a specialized on selling beverages, okay? Good, so. Do they see beverages or normal beverages? I'm talking beverages in, in, in general. You know what I'm talking about. When it's in general, it okay. includes everything, okay? Good, it includes everything. Good, let me see. So, Christian, amazing. Let me see. Okay, good guys. Let's open up the breakout rooms. Let's do it. I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes and then we're gonna come back, okay? I am going to include the listeners even though I'm not pretty sure if they're going to join. you have some ideas about the name of the company? Hello, you listen to me? Yes, uh, what, yes. what about Swift Ship? Swift Ship. Swift Ship. Mm. It's mean like um like, like a uh, Suzuki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> like when when you I don't know how can I explain it. Only say it. Uh it's been like a fast and efficient uh ship of packaging. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. What do you think, Daisy? Yes. It is the name the company. Name of the company. Ship. Sweep. I will I will ship. I will write it on the chat. Please, Christian. Como okay. barco veloz. <laughs> no, ship is shipping, like shipping. <laughs> ship. <laughs> shipping, <laughs> ship. Okay. Uh, uh, we need to know something important. What is the mission of the company? I think the, the, the most important is the time. The time that you that you use to deliver the, the, the goods. Uh, we need to think about how can we do to to delivery fast. Some ideas? Yeah, I was I was thinking about that too. Uh, maybe we can choose a different kind of ship ships. Like uh, if you want a uh, a ship to San Miguel, for example, and in order to he uh, he can. Uh, trash in our company because for example uh, if there are another company that uh, offer that the transportation that the he will uh, contract he will get to san miguel in two days uh, we have to offer that our company will uh, get his product in one day and a half something like that Mm -hmm. Offer. Uh, we try to offer the the best option for his product. For products, but uh, no only transportation. You you're talking about transport. A cool a free Can be um delivery. Can be pick up. That ah, is uh, pick up. It's about delivery. Uh, it's not uh, just transport transportation. Yes. The, uh, for example, the for the for the Coca Cola company, they contract a different uh, a different mm. transport for for deliver the. The beverage in the in every store, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. I, in expression. I I worked in Pepsi, uh, nine years, and Pepsi uh contract um, PL, uh, with the name uh, Prologics. All the all the trucks all the trucks that you see uh from Pepsi is. Uh, Prologix is not Pepsi, <laughs> it's a triple L. Yes, 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 um, yes. And this is the same case for, for, for La Constancia. Uh, in this case, the for La Constancia specific, La Constancia made their, their routes for, for every for every truck. Every truck have to go to the warehouse and they fold the, the truck and, and and change the the route i don't remember if it's every three months but it's something like that okay if you okay. can see in the in your in your neighborhood um the first is uh, only a people 
uh, I don't know how they say when do I say do the order for for how many Before. how many products do you need? Uh huh. Yeah. And it's after a... the truck only delivered. Yeah. We can we it's can a... choose. It's pre sale. Preventa. Pre sale. Yes. And this. Entonces sería storage under sample and costume modality. Includes the reception, handling, picking, and dispatch of the mercancy. Providing different service on the client. So we we and we that could be the service. So we are we are del del delivered to the customers. How do you guys go? Um, vamos? Manuel es listo. Estamos todavía en trabajando. We we working the offering. Okay. Okay. Right. What is the question? Sorry. If you have uh, another idea or something uh, more to increase the credibility or the necessity, necessity, I don't know, uh, the the business because we need to uh, take the 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 business of the teacher but the business of the teacher is in El Salvador right teacher yes me it's in okay. here okay so we can take the motorcycles and the vans to uh to move the product to move the products or if if the Products are too huge. We can use trailers too, or trucks too. Oh, I have a, a, an idea. Uh, or, or like we a bus. Can, we, like can, we, we, we can. We can. We <laughs> can. Uh, we can have a, also a little warehouse in oh. in in the three three. Sons? Central, uh, three no. sons. Of... Eso podemos decir in an other thing that you that you imagine so that he will need it. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, the thing is that we have to convince the uh, to the owner that the company that our service is the best option that he has in this case. So we are ready, right? El, yes. Uh, the name of the company. Ah. Do you have an idea? <laughs> no, no, no. 
I okay. see. I you, ha you, ha you have set it up everything, but the name of the company, you don't have name. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. We don't talk about it. We didn't uh, think about it. Sorry. We are discussing another thing. <laughs> yes. How to convince you and mm -hmm. that accepted our service. It's very important for us. Yeah, I mean, okay, okay, let's go. Cool. Let's go. Cool. But now think on the name of the company, you know, set up all that. Okay. So teacher, teacher, a uh, question. Mm -hmm. uh, do do we uh, suggest uh, your product or you will tell us uh, the beverage that you sell or you produce in this case? No, I mean, I, I am producing all kinds of beverages. I'm talking about beer, oh, okay. I'm talking about sodas, I'm talking about juices. Oh, okay. 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 So you can have an idea. Right. Okay, perfect. We have a capacity capacity of a storage in big quantity and um, and the in the better condition okay we have a capacity cap capacity of storage a view uh, yes we have a capacity, capacity. Of a product. Yes, Okay. Are you going, guys? You finished? I guess. <laughs> okay, you guys. All right. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna recheck the other group because they haven't finished yet. So hey, you know, I I have a, a question. Yep. Your company is is big or always? Uh, okay, yeah. Ah, small. Now, my company is a big company because I'm selling beers, I'm selling alcohol, I'm selling juices, I'm selling uh, sodas. So I need a, 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 a 3PL service in which I can have a huge warehouse. And uh, help me out with the transportation, you know, spread my product uh, all over the country. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Nice. Oh, all right, guys, you're going to have uh, uh, 10 more minutes for you to finish the activity. And then exactly at 9.30, we're coming back to the main section. I mean, many days or how many hours can take uh make a chip with uh for example for a motorcycle with a van with uh with a truck we can say that it's more or less two or one days and uh, i think we can offer offers that uh a live uh publication of the delivery. Uh, I don't know if we can say one day, two day, three day, but I don't know if we, we can offer only a live uh, publication. The Depend, product. 
to the distance or depend the quantity? I think uh, that's why uh, we we have a, 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 a little warehouse in, in three zones in El Salvador to, to make sure that uh, the, the product uh, delivers faster, uh, like our name. Uh, Swift ship. And I don't know if we can say yeah, three day uh, deliver uh, warranty, 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 or guarantee. Guarantee. Okay. Or uh, we can offer uh, the live uh, ubication of the the product. Guys, one question. Did you listen my 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 recording about the time that we're gonna come back to the main section? We have eight minutes. Nice. I thought it was not possible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice guys. We characterize for years of experience very experience, good service, the best price, and short delivery we, times. We get our service um, a famous brands around the world. Uh -huh. For example. We are known by our reputation. Uh -huh. And the others too can explain the service that we mentioned about the, the two kind of vehicles that we, we have and the, the time of the delivery or guarantees or, or politics where or service of warehouse with a freezing refrigeration rooms. Yeah, yeah. And that we have, and the distribution points that we have uh, center, west, and east of the, of the country. Yeah, yeah, yes. But how to uh, select who talk about the different uh, 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 options? Who, who, is necessary to select the who? Like who, the who says what? When I, when I, so, sorry, sorry. What I mean is, teacher, uh, is hot in your country? Ah. Huh? Now, is hot. The weather is hot tonight. Yeah. Yes, super hot. Because uh, Salvador now, now tonight is very very hot. In in all San Salvador. It's, let me tell you, I'm gonna check on here. Uh, 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 why, why is not giving me the, the status of Jesus Christ? Give me a second. I got it in here. Here at the temperature, it's uh, 34. <laughs> 34. <laughs> Very hot. <laughs> And uh, this is normal in here, man. It's like all all of your life you was living in San Miguel. Yes, the whole life I've been living here in San Miguel. Ah, and 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 in a couple of months in Usulutan. But because I I, I work in Usulutan, I had to travel to Usulutan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this area, yeah, I man, is super hot all the time. Even on winter, that uh, you know it rains uh, most of the time. Yeah, I mean here it's like super hot. For you, San Salvador is cold. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean every time I go to San Salvador uh, when it's at, uh, at about noon, yeah, I mean I feel like 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 a cool weather, a very nice weather. That kind of weather that you feel there at, at about noon, probably 12, 1, 
it's the kind of weather that we feel here in San Miguel, but at nights during the mornings between one to five uh, in the morning. That's the kind of weather that we have. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Even though back in the, uh, uh, on January, at the beginning of this year, yeah, I mean, the temperature decreases a lot in here because every morning the temperature was uh, 18, 18 degrees. Mm. Yeah, man, it was 18, 19. Very cool. Yeah, man, and we were freezing in here. <laughs> I suffered those, 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 those days, man, when, when I was going to work. Mm. Yeah. All right, guys, you have set up everything. You got everything ready. Almost already. <laughs> Almost ready. You got two yeah. more. Minutes. <laughs> okay. 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 Great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then deliver deliver a product from warehouse to customer on time and a correct address. Okay. Yes. Yeah. For me, is I understand. Okay, I think we are okay. <laughs> okay, teacher, how about the name? Ah, the name, the name of the company. <laughs> oh my God, uh, <laughs> the most important thing. <laughs> uh, come on, you're going to offer me. You're going to offer me everything but you don't have a name. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, get I don't have any idea. I'm... Uh, Think about one. Maybe. Maybe Rabbit Express. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. As fast as you. <laughs> I might be a limb. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> okay, interesting. And the logo is the best option. The, the best option for you. <laughs> good, good. Teacher, teacher, I don't understand. We have to... Talking about our idea right now or with all the classmates? Cla Lesson. Classmates. Lesson. What you're going to get there, you're going to get there. You're going to explain to me how you have structured your company, what your company offers, okay, and everything. And why is it a good option for me to choose you? Okay. Right. That's what you're going to do, okay? Okay. You have been setting up with 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 Estella and Noemi, okay? Great. Okay, okay. I want to listen to you guys. Let's go. It's time, all right? I will see you there. Okay. All right. Where are my other my other three PL companies? <laughs> they have ah, and they are coming. Mm. It's everybody here? Mm -hmm. No, not everybody yet. Okay. Ah, okay, cool. So my other three PL companies are coming now. Mm. Good. 
who wants to be the first company who tells me name? Wait. <laughs> okay, okay, not necessary. Remember, you're going to explain to me, guys, the name of your company, what is your specialization, if you have branches, what, in what areas you have the branches, what you offer, right, and everything. And the finally, the finally aspect that you're going to explain to me or convince me is why do I have to choose you as my provider, okay? Taking in consideration, remember guys, that my company produces beverages, talking about uh, what? Uh, beers, I'm talking about uh, juices, I'm talking about, you know, um, sodas and all kinds of beverages so it means it's a big company so i had to move big quantities of products all over the country okay take that in consideration okay good eduardo who were you working with with christian with daisy and christian <laughs> ah daisy and christian okay good go on uh okay Good evening, everyone. We was discussing about this and we choose Swift, Swift Ship. Um, our subject is uh, that we offer our customers a wide range uh, of shipping options from uh, low cost fast shipping to customized custom size shipping uh, to meet that to meet a specific uh, customer requirements. Um, my partner can be talk about more of the topic, Daisy. Great. Okay. Uh, we offer, uh, we offer, <clears throat> sorry, we offer uh, three, three different, um, the warehouse each it's some mm -hmm. in some central uh, orient okay, or central orient area. oriental houses east area <laughs> okay in uh, i don't know and we we offer um Offer assure for devolution or damage of the product, uh, and then security by the deposit, mm -hmm. and only only that uh, to continue, Eduardo. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Daisy. Thank you, Christian. Uh, the the our company uh, Swift Chip. Uh, our principal mission is to deliver faster the products to your customer because we know your customer is the most important uh, is thing in your business. Uh, we. We have a, a, a three branches or three warehouse, a little warehouse in different zones of El Salvador mm -hmm. to secure the fastest distribution of your products. Uh, each uh, warehouse have a private security for you have uh, the, the tranquility, no, I don't know, you have the quiet, no, tranquility um safety you have the safety that you are in house in your house mm -hmm. uh, resting and don't have to do mining in in, in your product because your product is safety okay. and we move the the products uh, faster because uh, if you want to move a, a pack of 12 uh, beverage uh, we can use the motorcycle system uh, to deliver the, the product faster. 
uh, if you need to move um, a huge uh, quantity of, of beverage, uh, we have a trucks, we have vans, and you can move this uh, faster to your customers. And something important is like the AC set, uh, we have a, a ensure, no, a secure, no, security. Insurance, seguro. <laughs> insurance. Yeah, insurance uh, for the for the integrity of your product. Uh, if if I have uh, some issue in the in the moment, uh, we we respond with uh, the same product uh, in with the this integrity to your customer because we know the your customer is the most important like us is the most important uh, to give you uh, the best uh, service uh, you know. Oh, Thank you. Okay. okay. I want to add something. All right. Uh, the, ship, the, the shipment depends on the quantity mm -hmm. and the place located, right? But mm -hmm. we have a, like a system to mon monitoring the package. Monitoring? Uh, monitoring for for a package show of update messages of the location of the package this it could be the the mention if the messages for the customers okay great the, the important thing of this thank you christian is that uh, the short message service service is uh, isn't or is uh, working Instead, you don't have a, 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 a internet uh, service. You have only need the the, the telepho telephonic uh, service, mm -hmm. telephone service, uh, to to receive this kind of message. Thank you, Christian. Ah, interesting. And and only only uh, the minimum delivery is twelve units. Twelve units. Ah, okay. Yes. Interesting. All right. Interesting. One more question, guys. What is the method of payment that I should have to you? If I accept, okay. you, guys, if I accept you guys, okay, as my provider, what's the method of payment that I should use with you? Oh. Uh, we can we can give you uh, uh, the first uh, the first order you need to pay in cash in the cash. second order order we can we can uh, give you as 60 days of credit uh -huh. but you have to take in consideration that i am going to make a contract to you so you are going to be my provider guys i mean you're going to okay me. so if you if you are if you have a contract with us we can we can uh, contract uh, for for 30 or 60 days of credit uh, previously uh -huh. uh, they can be like, with a transference or uh, a check with a, 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 a order with a buy order or then the compra <laughs> uh, buy an order okay by order and we can work like this if you want. Okay, great. Good presentation, guys. Congratulations. Thank you, Christian, Eduardo, and Daisy. All right. You did it excellent. Okay, Grace. Uh, who's next? The next participants are going to have nine minutes to show what you have from your companies. Okay. They had 10, so you're going to have nine. Who's next? Or who wants to be next? Guys, you are supposed to 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 come here and offer me. Hey, you you should you should hire me because I'm the best auction. And you're like, not teacher. <laughs> you don't want to. <laughs> oh. I think my groups. Okay, Daniel, that's the attitude. Okay, who are you working with? Uh, Vladimir and Fatima. Okay, cool. Let's go. Okay, good evening, everyone. It's uh, 
Mr. Vladimir will start with uh, with our presentation. Great. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Vladimir es que es que me hace... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose that I will say that, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Just give me a okay. Wait. Good evening, good evening, everyone. So right. today we 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 are trying to uh, sell our uh, service to your company. So uh, our name is Cool Racing Transportation. Um, well, uh, to begin with, uh, I just want to add that uh, we have uh, our company in the central uh, zone here in El Salvador. Uh, but also we have uh, two more warehouses that is in the west and the south uh, part of the country. And my partner Daniel will uh, explain you that uh, service that we offer as a company. Okay, great. Okay, yes. I... Our company offer offer you a uh, excellent uh, transportation uh, because we have a smallest car for your transportation, a middle a middle car, a big car, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. adapted to with the uh, with a uh, freezer uh, a freezer. Let me see. Uh, <laughs> A uh, freezer? What? How do you say the, the, part, the part of the car in the... Re refrigeration rooms. Oh, yeah. Refrigeration. But that, that's our our car. It's adapted with refrigeration room in the... Mm -hmm. <laughs> the part of the car, I don't know how do you say. But uh, we have a whole uh, warehouse um, adapted, adapted to the with refrigeration to refrigerate refrigeration room. Sorry. Ah. Okay. Um, our service uh, has a GPS control, uh, insurance service. Uh, we have a guarantee to be on time. Uh, it's comfortable for the driver. Mm -hmm. uh, our price is reasonable. Reasonable, yes. Uh, we have different uh, forms to pay uh, for star. You you uh, for 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 payment you can pay with the fifty percent in the beginning. After that, uh, you can pay the rest of the service. Uh, you could pay uh, with a uh, transfer. How do you say transfer? Yeah, transference, Trans transaction, transaction. How um, uh, how you can pay cash form too. And Daisy, Daisy, no, 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 not nice Daisy, the other Fatima. Continue, okay, okay, okay great. The <laughs> okay. And in our service is also that we have a big warehouse with refrigeration rooms. If you need more space to extract your product uh, in good conditions, we distribute uh, products in the three zones of the country, uh, west, east, and central area. Mm -hmm. And we are committed with the quality and, and the safety safety of your product, the beverage. So we are certified with good storage, transportation and distribution practice to avoid uh, presenting a risk to your product and the customers to their health. Mm -hmm. And we are no bar or long years of experience we have a good reputation we mm -hmm. have competitive prices competitive. and okay. uh -huh. we have short times of delivery 
that sort of company. Okay, the short time deliveries. Okay, that looks, that, that seems interesting. Okay. Good, very good presentation. Something else to add, guys? Well, that's going to be everything. Mm, yes, I think that is, that's it. Okay, very good, guys. I hope it. Yes, if you can tax contract us, uh, I think you could be very nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Good. I'm going to have it on my expectations, guys. Thank you for your presentation. Thank you. Too. Yes, because, yeah, yes, you, I think uh, in, our, in our knowledge, uh, you, you call receive a other offer the other company but in our company we have a guarantee that the other company doesn't have uh -huh. i mean that's great that's cool that's catching my attention okay Thank yes our free. service is uh -huh. five stars so don't five star waste service. your time <laughs> no, it's my time. okay by selecting other companies right okay good good Good, good, good uh, way of, 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 of offering me your, your services, guys. Okay, thank you to you three. You will see my final decision at the end. Huh? Okay, guys, thank you. Good presentation. Now, who's next? I got two more groups. Who wants to be next? Um, we are with Mary Raquel and Estela. Okay, great. Okay, I want to listen to you. Okay. What do you have? Me. Okay. Hello, Mr. But in this moment, we presentation our company. Okay. Our company is Rabbit Express, the best option, option for you. Good. Because we have a lot of experience in transportation. We have different warehouse in in departments in El Salvador, but mm -hmm. we have different agent in Central America. And you can you can select our company because we have the best the best qualities for for the preservation of your product mm -hmm. in this case i explained about the storage that we have provide for your for your product mm -hmm. for example for the storage we have a um, we have a, the adequate uh, condition for preserving your your beverage and so uh, we have experience in different kinds of beverages uh, for re refrigerators mm -hmm. uh, or a uh, normal temp temperature. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a, a big, a big uh, warehouse um, when you can resguard your, your, your product. Um, so um, in, where, in our warehouse, we can provide about the inventory management when you can need to uh, know how many products do you have, you have the inventory update. And so we, we have uh, the compromise with you to take care of your product we uh, yes yes because uh, we have certificate international uh, for security for your product uh, my parent uh, mary raquel explained about the condition about the delivery okay great hi hi teacher hi. you and your company we can uh, uh, you and your company trust in us because we are the best uh, decision for, <laughs> for transportation and warehouse. We can uh, assure you that we can deliver a product from a warehouse to customer on time and in a correct uh, address. And we can say we are a company with engagement with our clients and we assegurate the product uh, carry on uh, in the best conditions. Okay, interesting. Yeah, and um, now my my partner, um, Estela. Estela. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay. Explain your uh, effort the, the, the last time. Thank you. Uh, we can be our partner teacher. We can uh, uh, be mm, our special client. Uh, we can, we have a lot of um, equipment, specialty, specialty equipment to service you. Um, we have trailers, uh, mega trucks, refrigerated transport truck, isothermal transport truck. And if you need an uh, open car, we can uh, give you two. Uh, we have the best uh, drivers. They are, uh, they have a lot of experience to delivery. Uh, we have the best prices. We uh, have uh, the best equipment. If you need whatever that you imagine, we can give you. Wow, okay, good. Teacher, yeah. and, and, we can, and we can mention that uh, we give uh, maintenance or each of units uh, to, to, to safety. Ah, interesting, okay, good. It's something that the other companies didn't mention, but that's okay, good, good. Yeah, man, there's a good competence in here. Okay, interesting. Thank you to you, three girls. Excellent. Uh, and now we're gonna listen to the last one, to the last company. If I'm not wrong, this is Lorena's, uh, Oswin, and uh, uh, the, 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 Kenya. Kenya, Emmanuel, okay. I wanna listen to you guys. You got seven minutes to do it. Um, we offer you two service. Mm -hmm. First, uh, safe storage. This means we are controlling the um, the uh, and try and pass it have five warehouse around around the country. Mm -hmm. And the second service is our um, <clears throat> transport. Uh, with our transport service, uh, our, our transport uh, can be modified so that your products arrive in the perfect conditions mm -hmm. to ensure delivery, de delivery <laughs> in the shortest possible time okay. uh, to the customers. And so my my partner it's so supply more okay. about this. I need to continue. Okay, good. Uh, good evening. Um, good evening. Uh, the, our company name is Dorogos. Um, the company interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. How this said uh, Lorena is a uh, provide a uh, storage service. Mm -hmm. transportation, uh, distribution to um, maintaining all of your product. Um, mm. It's necessary uh, that uh, um, give a, uh, we company give a inventory management to, um, because it's, it's a, a low cost for you. Um, we we have to a uh, platform when you check your your product your inventory ah okay um, yes, uh, you, you can check uh, uh, online mm -hmm. i mean that's interesting so i can see my 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 stock on your warehouse okay yes great great Somebody okay. else is going to add something. Okay. Uh, Kenya, okay. Advice Go. of working with us are that your product is security. Mm -hmm. We offer security as experience in the in the storage of the product. Mm -hmm. We have a specialist fleet. 
if you need refrigeration, we, we have the, the trucks with that capacity. Mm -hmm. And we have national and international coverage. Okay, good. Not only in the country, but internationally as well. Okay, interesting. Great. What else, guys? That's sorry. That's everything? Yes. All right, so the name of your company is uh, 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 Okay, so you can uh, uh, have services nationally and internationally. Uh, did you by any chance mention the kind of transportations that you have? I don't remember. Yeah, we, our company gave that uh, transportation service. Uh, and, and what kind of transportation do you have? Uh, trailers. Ah, okay. Trucks too. Mm -hmm. If you move a, a big product, we have mm -hmm. a trailers. Ah, okay, interesting. Very good. What about what if I move a very a small, um, you know, packages of products? Because one company before you was mentioning that they have services even in motorcycles. Can you offer that service as well? If you, if you need move a, a small packet, uh -huh. uh, we have a motorcycle too. <laughs> <laughs> you can offer a motorcycle. Okay, interesting. You know, competences have increased. <laughs> okay, there you go, guys. Okay, very good. Thank you, Oswin, Lorena, and Kenya. Manuel, did you participate in the, on, 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 on the speaking part? Oh, 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 you are right late. Manuel, are you there? Oh, I think Manuel is not there. Okay, all right, guys. Okay, so, well, presentations, guys, right? very good presentations. You're very creative, actually. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking on, on, on the names of the companies, the company's processes, right? The kinds of, uh, uh, you know, like services that you provide, the kind of warehouses that you have, the kind of, uh, you know, uh, all included services that you got in the warehouses. I mean, that's really great. That's really great. <sighs> but as in any company service, I gotta choose one. Being honest, guys, I'm gonna choose four people, one for each group. And uh, I want you to tell me, which service should I choose according to you? Being honest, okay? Alejandro, you there? Oh, yep. Okay, Alejandro. <sighs> If you were me, Alejandro, which company would you choose? I just want you to check on, I, I just want to check on you guys. Uh -huh. Well, first of all, uh, if you are if you have a company, how many um I have to tell you in Spanish because I, I don't know how to tell you. ¿Cuál es la cantidad que maneja? Ah, ok. ¿Cuál es la cantidad que maneja dentro de sus productos? Si me dice eso, ya con eso ya le contesto. Ok, my quantities are in bulk. I mean, huge quantities. Probably, huge quantities. probably we're talking about what? More than 10 trailers every week with product. Okay. To be honest, mm -hmm. uh, the group for Mary, uh, Noemi, and Lorena, I guess, they have a big, uh, uh, a good option. Uh, thank you, Christian. You're very objective. Okay. Good. 
<sighs> Daniel. I want your opinion, Daniel. Which company from the fourth ones should I choose? If you were me, which one will you choose? Okay. <laughs> you can include your company, right? I'm just giving uh, an opinion. Okay? <laughs> According to that the information, I think that Stella, the group of Stella, because he, they provide uh, a, a big trucks for your uh, for your the just transportation your products and uh, the, the service is nice uh, and the price is a reasonable I think mm. uh, okay okay and the last one uh, okay Mary. If you were me, which company would you choose? <laughs> um, Just humble on that. <laughs> maybe taking taking the opinions the opinions of my classmates. Um, we offer we offer the option to you, teacher. <laughs> Rabbit Express. Uh, all right. All right. <laughs> because because the the the, the um, uh, because the trucks are big and we can uh, give you a service to warehouse complete with the quality. <laughs> ah, okay, good, good. Listen up. I was thinking on 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 the group that offered me a good service, a good service of warehouse. Uh, even security in the warehouse, I was I was thinking on that opinion, right? It was a good option, and I think it was Eduardo, Christian, and 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 Daisy, if I'm not wrong. But 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 you came in, and besides that, you've offered me also something really important in a company: inventory management. What does it mean? That if I want to see my stock on the warehouse, I just go over the phone and just check it online. How much product do I have uh, on your warehouse, right? So I can easily identify how much I can spread all over my uh, probably retailer companies, right? So because of that, all right, it's that I will choose your service, all right? The one for you, Mary, Noemi, and uh, Estela. Okay, I mean, that's, that, that was pretty cool. Okay, and all the presentations were excellent, guys. You see, when you want, you can share your opinions and you want to participate. That's really cool on you guys, okay? Perfect, by tomorrow, we're gonna do a series of activities pretty similar to this ones. I forgot to say that he says what Eduardo. Come on, Eduardo. <laughs> that was uh, a question that you should have said. <laughs> we we say that, I guess, Eduardo he said, I guess, because we was discussing about discussing about that. You really mentioned that, but I don't remember yet. You mentioned it to me. Oh maybe, maybe. Because no. I, I don't I didn't remember too. But we was discussing about that. Uh, you said that? I think I think only mentioned the 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 short message service, <laughs> but no mentioned the 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 inventory management. Nah, okay, good. Did you mention about the inventory management, uh, Lorena? Yes, has been mentioned as we mentioned it as well. Okay, good, good. You will be my second option. <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding, guys. No, thank you guys for your participations. The idea for this kind of activities is for you to, to practice in groups, you know, like sharing your opinions. And the idea here is like for you to speak, okay? For you to practice as much as you can. And you see, you can gather your ideas together and, and come here and speak fluently. That's, that's what I really want for you guys, right? And that's why I'm trying to do this kind of activities with you because that makes you think, all right? And produce, 
which is really important, okay? Good, guys. Uh, so I'll go ahead and pass the attendance list because I don't want to have you here for a long time. Yeah, I mean, you might be tired from work, so I will send you to sleep now. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, Carmen Eugenia. All right, so she's there already. Cristian Alejandro. Present. Okay, great. Daniel Arquimedes. Present. Okay, great. Daisy Maricela. Present. Nice. Elwin Alexander. Elwin, you there? Mm, okay, I guess he was busy. Elwin, uh, let me see, Vladimir. Present. Okay, great. Estela Mabel. Present teacher. Okay, Fatima Adriana. So she didn't show up. Now, Fatima Lourdes. Present. Okay, good. Jaime Antonio. Present. Okay, nice. Eduardo Jose. Present. Okay, great. Carla Lisette. Here, teacher. Okay, nice. Kenya Cecilia. Present, teacher. Okay, great. Manuel Antonio. Present, teacher. Nice. Maria Raquel. I mean, Maria. Maria Gabriela. Present. I'm mixing up your name. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Mar Maria, let me see. Uh, uh, what did I do? Give me a second. Okay. Mary Raquel. Present. Okay, great. Noemi Betsabe. Present. Okay. And the last one, Osbin Alexis. Present. Okay, great. Let me see. One thing, guys. Give me one second. Kenya. 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 We haven't had the 10 minutes feedback with you, right? Okay. We're going to stay today, okay? Thank you, Kenya. All right, for the rest, thank you guys for getting connected to the class. I hope to see you tomorrow again and have a wonderful night, okay? Bye bye, guys. Okay. Good, Good night. night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Did you not uh, mention my name in the list? Yes, let me see. No, I have it here. Lorena. <laughs> I don't. Lorena Beatriz, ya, yeah, mira, ya, ya le puse la asistencia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Sorry, Lorena. All right. Bye, Bye. Good night. Good night. All right, Kenya. So basically, this time it's just for us to clarify any question or, you know, any doubt that you might have related to this class or previous classes or something that you might not understand from the platform. So this is time just for you to, to clarify that with me, okay? So I don't know, Kenya, if you have any question related to the classes or something from the platform? Mm, no, I don't have doubts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, only in the platform, uh -huh. I saw in the unit number three, one part that say that we have to put the the los signos de puntuación. Ah, really? Give me one second. On part three, you said, right? In unit three. Mm -hmm. Unit three. Give me a second. I want to check that. And I can complete that. Only that is pending for me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna check that right now, so. What happened to the internet? Mm -hmm. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see part three. Mm 
I'm gonna share this review so we can have an idea what we are talking Six about. Five. Okay, good. Okay, 3.5 warehousing. Oops, what happened? But okay, let me see. I am having issues with this. I got what happened to my internet. I don't know. <laughs> right. and, and it's not the internet uh, actually because uh, if i will have problems with the internet i might not be speaking to you right now it will be like interference and everything what it's going on yeah sometimes this kind of things got crazy but give me a second maybe it's the platform sometimes it, it comes with the platform exactly Ah, uh, you see, it's getting crazy sometimes. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm gonna show this up. I was in the homework in the platform. Me sacó. How do you say me sacó? Me kicking me out. <laughs> I'm gonna like this, kick me out. You can say like this, kick me out, like me sacó. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think it's a problem in the platform because you see, it doesn't load. It's weird. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, Jesus. But the instructions are, click uh -huh. the warehouse issue below, mm -hmm. apply the corresponding contraction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say we remove item for carton and package. As a result, pickers are not able to find them when they need to. <laughs> uh -huh. So in that case, what you need to set up is a punctuation uh, punctuation symbols, right? Yes. Okay. So in that case. Try out putting a comma before as a result. Write everything, mm -hmm. but then comma as a result and check if, if that is possible. I have a comma. And is it still incorrect? Yes. Jeez. I have a comma as a result. Uh, and uh, put and a, then and then and, at the end of the sentence uh -huh. put a dot. Jesus, sorry, repeat. Put a dot, a point. And then. No, at the end, at the end of the of the sentence. Yes, I have. I have. Jesus Christ, what happened to this? Okay, uh, let's try out something. You didn't have any kind of uh, results? Is it wrong? Okay, if it is wrong, put, uh, let me see, an under dot, ponga punto y coma, instead of a comma. Before as a result. Okay. Only that. What about now? Uh huh. Mm. 
is thinking. <laughs> Ah, this is the no. one. No? No. Okay, let me see. I got it in here now. So I got this one. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna copy and paste. Let me see. It says, we remove items from uh, 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 cartons and uh, packages. As a result, I'm gonna put a, put a uh, here. Coma. Punto y coma. Mm -hmm. Okay, as mm -hmm. I think that other is before then when they need to or not. Hmm. Oh, why don't we put mm -hmm. it in here? Comma. Let me check. I'm gonna send it. No, it's it's incorrect. Okay, so I got an option in here to show the answers. Let me see. Okay. Answers, it says, we remove items from cartons and packages. Okay, mm -hmm. we have, okay, as a result, ah, yes, figures on. are not uh, able to find them when they are need to. Ah, I forgot the dot in here. Oh, we remove items is us, from cartons and packages. Ah, okay. Check this out. It had a final dot. And then as a result, comma, pickers are not. Let's choose this one. This goes this way then. Uh -huh. Let me see. I'm gonna resend it. Ah, now it's correct. Look, we remove the items from cartoons uh, and packages. Then put a dot and then okay. capital as a result, comma, and then the rest. And at the end, a dot. Okay, now yes. <laughs> okay, great. So I will give you the suggestions. Yeah. The suggestions for this one are this. Check this out. In number two, you got this. Okay. You can check on this one. Look, uh, if vendor is uh, shipping multiple items as a single box, then final dot, and then consequently, and then comma, and then the other ones. Okay, let's do that for the rest of the one. Okay. okay. Yes. Instead of a comma, First, put a dot, and then a capital, and then a comma after the expression, okay? Okay. Very good. I, I, I will try. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, if, there, if it is not working properly, let me know tomorrow so I can suggest you, all right, something else. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank there you, teacher. You okay, thank you to you. And see you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow. Good okay. night. Good night.